Let's take a look at the layout for a hip rafter. Starting from the framing point A to the building line B, we want the mathematical rafter length. Total run is 12. Unit length is 19.21. The mathematical rafter length will be 19 feet 2 and 1 half inch. From building line to fascia line will be the mathematical overhang length, which will be 2 feet 1 and 5 eighths of an inch. The seat cut, we're going to mark this with a reference line, this will not be where the cut takes place, is determined by the height above plate line. The ridge setback, again marked with a reference line, not a cut line. The formula is one half the ridge thickness times 1.414. Here's a closer look at the elevation. Now this will be at a 45 degree angle, so we need to factor in the multiplier of 1.414. You type in your calculations and the result will be 1 inch. The plancher cut is determined by the fascia height. And the cheek cut will be a double 45 degree bevel cut which is one half the rafter thickness. And here's a closer look at that. So it's very simply one half of one and a half inches is three quarters of an inch. All right, the tail cut is exactly the same measurement, three quarters of an inch. And now we're going to take a look at the drop hip. This is the same measurement as the raised plancher. The formula for the drop hip will be rise times one half the rafter thickness divided by 16.97. Now there's two ways to arrive at this formula. You can do a layout method on site, just following these steps, or you can do a mathematical calculation. And this is fairly easy. You just type in the rise times half the rafter thickness. You divide that by the hip run of 16.97. And the result is 0.397, or 3 eighths of an inch. This is option A. Option B is to perform a chamfer cut. And this is a cut that goes along the entire length of the rafter. Let's examine that more carefully now. So you either drop the hip or you perform the chamfer cut. Although the drop hip method is the most common, on occasion you might want to use the chamfer cut. For example, if the rafter is seen from the bottom and you don't want to see the gap, here's how you do this. For the chamfer cut, it's also known as the backing saw angle, we can either use formula one, which is called the plum backing angle. Now formula one, can be used in a close enough situation. However, if you want it perfect, we'll use formula number two. So for formula number one, so simply rise divided by the hip run, you hit inverse and you hit the tangent, and the result will be 27.94 degrees. You can also look at the appendix three, F3, for a quick reference here. And if you buy the CD pack, you'll get this in your, in your PDF package. So for the hip valley, the unit run is 16.97. For a 9-12 pitch, the pitch angle, or the degrees, is 27.94. And this will be your backing angle, so this is what you set your saw blade to. Formula number two, this is a little bit more precise. Now the true formula for this is your arc tangent. You hit the sine of your hip valley pitch angle divided by the tangent of your plan angle. Now I've simplified this for you. All you have to do is hit rise divided by hip run, hit inverse and tangent, and then uh, just a couple more steps. You just hit your sine, your inverse and your tangent, and you're good. 
So the first part of the formula we did before in Formula 1, and again just hit sine, inverse, and tangent. This will give you a slightly different result at 25 degrees, and this will be your backing angle. Now if you visit the website, www.velocirafter.com, I'll give you a link to a really wonderful website that will give you a deep explanation as to the difference between the plumb backing angle and the hip backing angle. For the hip rafters, you do your calculation, total run times unit length, same thing for the fascia, overhang times unit length. We've established that the rise is 9, height of a plate line is 7, fascia height is 6. Unit length comes out to 19.21. Ridge setback, we said was 1 inch or 1 and a 16th. You could round it off. Drop hip, 3 eighths of an inch. Now that's all the information we need to start making our cuts.